What is up you guys? We're going on a little quiet commute again. Let's wake the neighbors. Not hitting my helmet on this again. Ugh. This video is going to be a little more old fashioned because uh, I'm running late for work, so we're in a bit of a time crunch. I don't really want to stop to fill up. I have about 54 miles on this trip. I know the gas light's going to come on here and I don't know, like 20, 10 or 20 miles. Work is about 35 miles away. So uh, we're going to play the efficiency slash speed game. I'm trying to maintain my time while well, not having to stop for gas, but I don't want to push so hard that I run out of gas, if that makes sense, so. And that also explains why this is more of an old-fashioned vlog, old-fashioned, um, with just my GoPro. Usually I have the 360 cam, I have the, uh, I have the mic, I have all that stuff, but today, nope, not doing that. I just didn't have time to get it all set up. We're in a little bit of a pickle. We have to do a 35 minute commute in like, oh, I don't know, 25 minutes. Which on this thing shouldn't be a problem, but it's also 39 degrees, so. And I missed this light. And this light is like super long, so. Oh, that sucks. There's no way I'm going to get it. It always goes yellow. Oh, I actually got it. Don't look, everybody. The bike's not warm yet, so I can't go full bore. But you best bet I'll be cruising pretty good. My neck's a little chilly, but... We're trying this as more of an old-fashioned one. I feel like I've been over editing a lot of my videos so with this one I'm gonna just stick with the GoPro and see how that works so if you guys like this as opposed to cutting back and forth to the 360 cam just let me know I'm glad I remembered earplugs this morning This one's also going to be less cuts. I feel like I cut my videos a lot, and I want you guys to be able to see them in their entirety. So I'm going to do less cuts and more, more ride. Again, if uh, you guys don't like that, let me know. But I figured you guys would rather have a longer video, even if some of it was silence of me just riding. Oh, it's cold. neck and my face are freaking freezing. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Every time I'm in a rush, I'm always stuck behind the slow... Oh my god. be a little longer of a video see if you guys like it let's hit some back roads
But the reason for me riding in today is more so that it's supposed to be 77 this afternoon. So think about that. 33 in the morning and 77 in the afternoon. It's ridiculous. I, I honestly kind of hate that because I'm wearing such a heavy jacket to go into work and then when I leave I have to wear that home and it's going to be almost 80 so it's going to be hot. It's like one extreme to the other. Thank you guys for always tuning in to my content. Hope you're enjoying the uh, early morning scenery. It's a little more light out now that we have uh, just the days are getting longer. Which is nice. Because I don't like having my tinted visor when it's too dark out. Oh god. slow down a little bit to warm up. 33 degrees still, it is chilly. We're not even at the coldest part yet. Like you guys know, it gets colder up here, so we'll see. Oh, I do want to get past this car, but I'm just so freaking cold. No gas yet. We're at 68 miles, so it should be popping on here soon, but I think I have enough, even with the reserve, to get to work, so. We should be fine going another like 10, 15 miles. We're good. Oh yeah, we're just cruising. We're vibing right now. adjusted my chain tension since my uh, maintenance video because it actually did loosen a little bit. It made a world of a difference. I think whenever you do chain maintenance on a dirty chain like I had, it actually frees it up a little bit, gives you a little more slack than what you used to. Or than what you uh, used to have. I'm using uh, my Enduro battery today, this morning, so all that crap that I talked on GoPro, we'll see if it's still recording by the time I am almost to work. I'll, uh, I won't eat my words, but at least I'll be more impressed. Alright, now we can start slowing down a little bit. 
my clock on my bike is, I think, 15 minutes fast. We're about 20 minutes away from my work. No, we're about 15 minutes, so I'll, I'll make it there on time. We're good. But I made all that up in just that short amount of time because we were, we were cruising pretty good, so... I have to blur the speed out there for a couple parts, but we did all right. These heated gloves are still working really well. It's just my legs that are cold at this point. My face shield's getting a little, a little foggy too. Not foggy, but uh, has just some wetness on it, so that's kind of annoying. But other than that, I'm looking forward to this afternoon. I like recording for the mornings, though. The mornings are more peaceful. Nice and cold. You guys like the scenery and the roads when I'm cruising around, so it just makes for a better vibe than the afternoon when it's, you know, 80 degrees. And I feel like there's not a lot of other motor vloggers that commute in this sort of temperature uh, that don't have like adventure bikes or whatever. I mean, I'm on a I'm on a full fledged hibernated, so of course fairings would be nice, but honestly, it's pretty sweet. The payoff is this afternoon is going to be fun. And it works out we hit this traffic because my gas light turned on. I want to be a little conservative with how I'm riding. Anybody else do this? Went out for the solar eclipse yesterday. It was a total letdown. We had like 97% coverage in my area and it's still just got like maybe a little dark. It almost looked like a storm was coming in and then it went away. So not really that entertaining. Not that it's supposed to be entertaining, but people were really hot hyping it up. Maybe in the path of totality it was, but I saw some pretty cool pictures. Skrrr. Oh boy, this light takes forever. Avoid all the wet spots, they might freaking freeze at this temperature. The temperature should start going up though. We just went through the coldest part. Now we're getting closer to State College. It'll be it'll be more decent. I gotta get to work, people. And this guys is why we get this motorcycle. that just to get caught in this but I'm not going to lane split like some of the other idiots I've seen online so don't worry I'll do some stuff but not that fill up right after work since this is a gas station. Welcome back guys. Just got off work. This is the reason we do it right here. 70 some odd degrees. 78 degrees. Cloudy. It's beautiful. Even though I have my winter jacket on, it's still amazing. Glad I waited to get gas because now it's going to be a lot nicer. So let's fill this thing up. We have... 85 miles on the tank, which is actually pretty close to running out, which is very sad, but seeing as of that 85, 16 was one of the, with the fuel light on. So about 70 miles until the fuel light kicks on, which is sad. But let's put some 93 in this thing. That took way longer than it should have. Let's put some 93. Fill it up. The nice part 
about today is it's it may say 78 degrees but it's actually not or 77 degrees but it's not like a hot 77 I know people use that term all the time, like, it's a dry air or whatever, but that's what today is. It does not feel that hot. It's just super comfortable, perfect for riding. Very excited to ride this thing home. Oh, there goes the two cylinders. You guys probably can't hear it. I don't have my mic with me, but, hey, there's a the light. state had lane splitting so I feel like I could just cruise right through but is that also kind of sketchy yeah probably I mean I'll give it he has gear on that might be one of the first guys that I've seen ride with his whatever they call it colors and still have a helmet on so I completely respect that that dead bug get there? Get off my screen, you little bug. Ew. I don't know. I'm so back and forth on whether I should actually switch this rocket back to stock or not, because I do have a heck of a lot of fun with this thing at lower speeds now, because it just wants to wheelie. It's just not very efficient. I know you can't have both, but I want both. I want to be able to you know, maximize my capabilities of speed while also being able to just rip freaking wheelies. But with this bike, the gearing is so super bike-ish, you gotta have one or the other. You either have top speed or you have insane acceleration, acceleration that you can't keep the front wheel down. So, I mean, granted, the stock sprocket, you couldn't keep the front wheel down anyway, but this one even more so. Thank goodness. We are now home free. Now we get to really enjoy this road. Once we pass through this town, I don't want to go crazy through the town. It's a little bouncy on this stretch though. And by a little, I mean a lot. Jeez. Uh, goodness. Oh, that was fifth gear. That's not going to do it. This thing just likes to be ridden hard. I feel like anybody who has issues with these bikes is because they baby the crap out of them. This one, I beat the absolute snot out of for the past four plus thousand miles and it's been nothing but good so far. What a nice day. So thankful for you guys, for this day, for everything happening right now. Oh, 
in no hurry to catch that line of cars up there, so we'll just kind of cruise for now. Also, this Enduro battery, much better than the last one. I had 50%, 53% by the time I got to work this morning in 33 degree temps, which last time it cut out on me way before then, and when I restarted it after it froze, literally, well, figuratively, I think, it was at like 20%, and that was way before I got to work. So this is a drastic improvement. So if you guys have a GoPro and you're having really bad battery performance, try out their Enduro battery. Again, this is one sample of cold, so take it with a grain of salt, but so far so good. See, my coolant temp is way lower when I'm cruising real nice. I actually like flogging it a little bit more. Whenever I have to do this stuff, this bike does not, yep, just went back up, see? It does not like it as much. It doesn't like going slow. We'll see if someone cuts off. This, there's a different road that people can take that goes to the same place. We'll see if uh, anybody takes it, because if not, I'm taking it. Please don't turn, please don't turn. Yes, nobody did it. sucks I cannot take this at speed because it's so bumpy and it's all just cracked up concrete look at this uh, don't trust that at all but back you guys know the deal We'll start in third so it doesn't wheelie on me as much. Woo! My backpack's floating around. Well, that's gonna end our little commute video here. Look at that view. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on this gorgeous day. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.